Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you guys are new to my channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and also turn on your post notifications so you will not miss a video of Nikki Bees. I know you guys are probably thinking like finally like what the heck like why did it take her so long so if you guys don't see me active on youtube you guys can always find me on instagram snapchat facebook twitter all of that and you guys can find my social media down below in the description so make sure to go follow me and i know why you guys are here but you guys are gonna have to wait for that because there's some tea guys there's some tea that a lot of you guys want to know and i'm finally gonna tell you guys and if you're not subscribed subscribe right now so you don't have to video Okay, so the first question is what do you use for your eyebrows for my eyebrows? I don't know if you guys can tell but obviously you guys can tell but they're a little bit darker than my hair color Just because I've been so lazy to go get a new dip brow. It's the Anastasia Beverly Hills Dip brow pomade in medium brown. And if you guys are wondering how much this lasts I have like yeah, pokey thought need to go buy a new one, but this lasts like two to three months maybe even more if you don't do your makeup a lot, but I do my makeup like every single day, so that's why. Someone asked, what do you drink more, soda or water? I drink water more, not because like I want to be healthy, but like it's just a thing like when I go to a restaurant, I can't eat my food with soda. I don't know why, like I'm always like, oh, I want. Or say sometimes I get soda, like I don't drink it, and then I end up getting my mom's or dad's um, water. So yeah, so I feel like I drink more water, but like there's days like, I can go a whole month without soda and when I drink soda, when, like when I finally drink soda, I'm like so in love with it, like I want to drink a lot. But I'm still a water person. Okay, so another question is, do you miss your braces? Guys, I miss my braces so much. And I know there's a lot of people like scared to get braces. The only reason, like when people tell me like, oh I'm scared to get braces, I'm, I, like, I look at their teeth and I'm just like, tienes mucho because when uh, my teeth... So, like, so before getting my braces, I had, like, teeth on top of teeth. So they had to take some of my teeth off. And they took, like, four. And that hurt. So I was, like... Like, every time people ask me, like, oh, like, does it hurt? Like, that's the only thing I remember. Because that's, like, the only thing that really hurt. But other than that, I really miss my braces. And I want them again. And I'm, I'm just kidding. <laughs> They're expensive. But, yeah, I really do miss my braces. How tall are you without heels? Without heels, I'm 5'7 and a half. Yes, I have to add that in a half. But with heels, I'm like 5'9. But I like, I look super tall with heels. But like, I feel like I love my height with or without heels. Like, I honestly love my height. Some people ask me like, how does it feel being tall? Like, there's nothing I hate about being tall. I feel like being tall is... Hmm. He's come talk to his arm. Okay, now that's I'm not seeing the film. Okay, another question is how to gain self-confidence. So in order to gain self-confidence, you have to be happy with yourself. Like, don't care what other people think of you. Another way I gained self-confidence was modeling. Modeling has taught me so much. And to this day, I'm, I will always be thankful for modeling, modeling classes, modeling everything, modeling events, being around people, being in public and all that. Um, yes, I was so nervous. I would be nervous. I would want to get off stage because I wasn't confident and just like going to places like that um, Have really helped me and also making a YouTube channel talking in front of a lot a lot of people like Sometimes when I'm out in public and I take pictures I'm just like no like there's a lot of people around me But then I remember like there's so much people that watch me not so much people but like there's a lot of people that watch it on YouTube but do you have a middle name? Yes, I do have a middle name. My full name is Nicole Samantha Valadez. Cringy. I'm just kidding. I really like the name Samantha. It's pretty cute. It was going to be Samantha Nicole Valadez. I think that would have been a little cuter, but I don't know. Will you ever show your dad? I think my dad comes out in my videos every single day. Yeah. At what age did you start wearing makeup? I started wearing makeup when I was when I was 12 because I was doing pageants but it wasn't like a full full like it was just for my pageants like like I wouldn't wear makeup to school like no I would just wear makeup for my modeling events I would do a lot of modeling events when I was small I would have photo shoots like every other weekend so it, it was just for those days my mom would not let me go to school with makeup 
or be in the house with makeup. I would just hide it from my mom. Like when I would get to school, I would put my mascara on and I would put my little lipstick on. That's it. What would you say to your future YouTubers that want to start doing this? I don't know if I'm making sense. Yes, girl, you make sense. But for future YouTubers that are thinking of doing this, I feel like YouTube is a big responsibility because you have fans out there um, that want to see your videos every other day, you know? Like, people want to keep up with you. People are interested in you. Um, so just, I don't know. I don't know why I'm saying this, but be consistent. That's something that I have to do as well, so cannot be talking. Um, also, show love to your fans. Um, they show love to you. They take the time to show love to you. So for us YouTubers, we have to do the same for them. First fight or drama? My first fight or drama... I've never been in a fight, but I've been close to getting in fights. Like, I'm not scared of drama. I just don't like drama. Honestly, it's not worth it. Like... Que te vas a ganar. Un chingazo sí, pero... Nothing else. Like, fighting is ratchet. And that is not Nikki B. Do you see your real dad? I do see my real dad. Um, Once in a while, we sometimes... He sometimes calls me. I sometimes call him. We text. But it's not like an everyday thing. Like, good morning, dad. Good night, dad. It's just, you know... How do I move on from my ex? Any advice, Nikki? Girl, I got some advice. So there's different type of girls, okay? So one of them is the, oh, I'm single. I'm gonna go like whole round just to get over him. That's not how it works. Second, it's just the like, I'm gonna do me. I'm gonna focus on me and stuff like that. That's many of us. But don't haul around. Don't post other guys. That's gonna make him like not want you. Like it's gonna get him jealous, of course, if he still wants you. But that's not cute. Like... Go show him that you're gonna get a job or something. I don't know. So he can be like, wow, she's stepping up her games or something. But don't just post every other guy. Like, it's no. Do something that you really love. Do something that you know will get your mind off that guy. Um, something that I had to do. Oh. Block that guy on every social media. Like, it's probably going to be hard. You probably want him staring I Like, you probably want him to look at your cute snaps. Yes, but no. Like, if a guy really wanted you, he would not do anything to break up with you, to get you upset or anything. So just remember that. When a guy cheats on you and everything, he doesn't care about you. If he really cared about you, he would not do anything like that. But yeah, that's my advice to you. Delete them. Don't hold around. Do you. And focus on things that will make you forget about him. My favorite outfit from Fashion Nova, it's that one um outfit. I had a little black shirt. It looked like a little bikini, like a, like from the sides, um, and the shorts. I will be posting a picture right here so you guys can see it. So another question is why didn't you have a quinceanera? Um a lot of people ask me this. Um the reason why I didn't have a quinceanera was because my brother was in the hospital and we just didn't have a lot of money to um and do a whole party we barely had money to eat and stuff like that we all had to help each other out like say me and my brother would go to work sometimes to like help my parents and my dad would have to like travel back and forth so we just didn't think of it but before my brother was sick and everything we did try to we were like already planning a little bit but it, it was just a dress we would just be like, like oh i like this dress um, I want this color. It was just like that. It wasn't nothing like, oh, we're gonna get the salon. No, um, we really started looking at little things. But I'm not mad that I didn't have a quince. Honestly, I have. Oh, I'm not gonna cry. I'm not gonna cry. I swear. And I don't think I would have been able to spend it any other way. Okay. What type of car would you like to get when you get your driver license? You guys already know this. For those that always watch my Q&As, I always answer this question. And a car that I would get when I get my driver license is a Camaro. Camaros are my dream cars. Well, recently I was thinking of this other car, but then... People gave me reasons not to, and I was just like, okay, I'll just stick with the Camaro. I love Camaros anyways. Um... But something that I have not told you guys is that I finally got my permit. Um, I've been studying for my permit for a very, very long time. And finally, I took one test and I felt one question. So I'm very happy that studying for, your, for my permit has really 
help me. Okay, so I think it's time for me to tell you guys what you guys have been wanting to know for a very long time. The tea. So, the question is... Do you have a boyfriend? Do I have a boyfriend? Do you guys really want to know? You guys have to see my next video. Ah, no es cierto. Yes, I do have a boyfriend. And before I start talking about him and my relationship, let me know if you guys want a video with him so you guys can meet him. Okay, so another question is, are you planning to do something else with your hair? Um, I was thinking after my sister's quinceañera to go back to brown hair. But I don't know, I feel like I barely dyed my hair. Like, I'm like not like even used to it. Like, I love my hair. But I feel like, I think I'm gonna wait because it was a very long process. It was a very long process to get my hair to this color. Um, I feel like maybe in about four months from now, I'll go back to brown. Hopefully I don't think about that sooner. But just because I miss my brown hair and I miss how long it was and everything. It's getting a little long. But still, I want my brown hair back. <laughs> What's your go-to foundation right now? My go-to foundation right now is a Huda Beauty. Yeah, it's a little bit dirty, but it's this one. It's in shade Chai. I think that's how you pronounce it. C-H-A-I and 210B. It's high coverage cream foundation. That has been my go-to. Um, I've been using it like every time I go out. Obviously not school for how old are you? You guys are going to be shook. You guys are not going to believe me. But I'm 16 years old. I know I look like I'm 18 or something. Vieja, 30, 30, 40, I don't know. But I am 16 years old. I was born July 13, 2002. So that's it for today, guys. I hope you guys really enjoyed this video. I um, enjoyed answering you, all your guys' questions. There were so many that I decided to do. For that one question about me having a boyfriend, comment down below if you guys want to meet my boyfriend. Um... So we can make a video and he can introduce himself to you guys and you know, all that stuff. So yeah, don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe and I'll be back with more videos.